Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be checking out the Scania 6x6 Quick in the Dead Semi version 1.0. File size for this 121.2 megabytes. Today's mod is going to be tested out on the Michigan map. What I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will settle a few things up and we will test this out. So let's check it out. Alright folks, I really like this semi. I love the paint job on it. This is the Scania 6x6 Quick in the Dead Semi version 1.0. File size for this is 121.2 megabytes. There's five different engine sizes to choose from in the shop, ranging from 520 horsepower all the way up to 950 horsepower. This thing is really powerful. Price of this, as is in the shop, is $319,500 with a $0 a day maintenance fee. This has a max speed of 90 kilometers an hour and it has an adjustable fifth wheel. So you can see it has the Quick and the Dead logo. You can see Sharon Stone on the side and Leonardo DiCaprio. If you've ever seen that movie, it's really good. And this thing looks great. Now, the only thing I'm not a fan of is those Michelin men up top. Sorry, but yeah, not a fan of that. But besides that, great looking truck. And wait till you hear this thing. So let's go over to the shop. I'll show you where this is located. Right under this farmer looking dude. Double click on him. Now this comes with an attachment, by the way. It has a uh, claw for picking up logs, and you can uh, back right into that and attach it depending on the chassis type you take. Now, we'll double click on that. So, it is not multicolor, but you can change the rim color. You can switch your tires, trailboard, no key in, lizard, design, roll, standard. I forget what that changes. I know there's air horns that appear up here. And when you take the uh, higher horsepower, it has an extra little box here. It has beacons and everything on it. It's very nice. Okay, design. Thing, yeah, here's the lights in the back up here. Check it out. Yeah, just on and off. Here's the setup for the crane. One crane attach. Crane support. Got your engine set up here. 520, 580, 650. 730 all the way up to 950 let's go over and we'll take a look at the boom here this is multicolor got a little cab on it too this raises and lowers it's really cool but uh it's funny it's you, you see it standing there in the parking lot like it's just pivoting on here and you can actually get in this without it being attached but uh she's very tippy so you can't change anything here you can just change the color obviously like that the cab stays uh that color Got a few different choices there as far as color. Okay, let's come out of here. And we'll take a little look around at this. All kinds of lights on it. Very nice. This caught my eye over on Mod Land. Or Mod Hub. Okay, let's jump inside. Now listen to this thing. Sounds awesome. I'm bald! What are those little things in the window? Little bottles, little vials or something. Okay, let's check out some of the lights. We got one, two, three, four. Four light settings. Wow, very bright. Okay, we got beacons that flash all over the place. Very nice. Let's try our signal lights. Just on the corners there. Hazards. Okay. Horn. Oh, this one doesn't have the bull horns up top, but it still sounds pretty cool. Yeah, this thing got a mean sounding engine once you get going here. That just looks fantastic. Okay, let's try the reverse lights and brake lights. Both work just great. Okay, interior. Look at the interior on this. Mirrors work. Speedometer and tack work. What are those little bottles there? Pepper? Poppy? I'm not too sure. Bunch of cooler. Very nice cab back here. V8 in her. Oh yeah. Look at the height of the roof. That is up there. Get a sunroof up there. Pretty nice indeed. Yeah, they did a nice job on this and it drives really nice too. So it has a top speed of 90 clicks. Or 95 I think it was. So let's jump on out of here. Okay, so let's hook this up to our boom over here. 
Take an external view. I do believe you can move that fifth wheel. Yes, you can. Just hold in your uh, left mouse button and drag it side to side. Listen to this thing. Love the sound of it. Okay, so you just want to back into there. Watch you don't hit the boom. You're going to have to kind of come over to this side a little bit. I do believe this is the right setup for this. Yes, sir. Those legs will come down in a second. Watch. Boom. So how cool is that? So there you go. Now you can control this from inside, but you actually have to get it in there to uh, be able to unfold it and use the claw. I couldn't figure that out at first, because this seems to work right from inside, but I couldn't get the claw to open and turn. But I'll show you how you do that. So let's bring this guy over here. So you don't have to take that, but it's very cool. Let's jump out of here. We'll jump in the back part. <laughs> Check it out. Let's take a little look inside here. That's pretty neat. It's hard to see just yet, but I don't know where. Oh, yeah, the front opens up once you unfold it. Check this out. Press the X key. You can see the front go up there. How awesome is that? Okay. So, yeah, it lifts the tires off the ground uh, kind of awkwardly there. I don't know what's up with that, but it still works very nicely. Let me back up here a little bit. We'll get our boom extended. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't see any other supports on the truck, so. So, basic crane controls. Left, up, down, does that. Left, side, to side, does that. Right, up, down, does that. Right, side, to side. Extends the boom. To close the claw, both mouse buttons in, and side to side, or no, side to side pivots, and up and down will open and close your claw. So that is very cool. I like that. And like I said, you just unfold it. All right, let's get this guy back. See, it closes automatically. See, I couldn't open that before, but I didn't realize you had to uh, unfold this. Okay, let's bring that back over. Bring that back down. Beautiful. Okay, let's jump on it here. Back in here. And we'll take this thing for a drive. Yeah, it's a pretty neat job they did on that. And like I said, you don't have to take it with that. Listen to it. beast 95 clicks gets up there pretty fast handles great guys too so I don't think this is a 950 horsepower I do believe that's the one with the box on the back Actually got it right over here and it looks pretty good with the uh, the trailer hooked up as well yeah it's a nice rig I like it Here's the bad boy here that's 950 horsepower. Even more lights. Check this out. Let's get this ranked up. Nice and quiet in the inside. Oh yeah, lights are blue. I forgot to show you that. Oh, hello. Yeah, this thing looks great. 
Okay, there's a hundred thousand liters of manure here. Should be able to handle that, no problem. Can I move the fifth wheel on this? Yes, I can. So I can pull that right up. Hooks up to that nicely. No problem with that. So there you have it folks, that was the Scania 6x6 Quick and the Dead Semi version 1.0. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys. Thank you so much for watching today's review, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, then hit the subscribe button and the bell, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day, and let's plays every other day. Plus my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help me contribute to the channel, it really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.